Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Pamish. Quick update on the race forecast. I know a lot of folks uh, asking me about should they head over to Bristol? Is it even worth going there today? Because uh, obviously it's pouring rain right now. Um, that's a given. And as we look at the radar here, uh, I've actually highlighted where Bristol is. It's that, that kind of red box there. And I know there's a lot of uh, people wondering, is this dry slot, which is this little area of dry air down to the south, is this going to punch in and dry things out? I'm not overly optimistic that's going to happen because while that's a good possibility if this was just one low over northern Georgia, the Carolinas, we've got this other low back here over southern parts of Missouri and northern uh, Arkansas that's actually rotating in from the west. So while it's easy to look down here and say, hey, look, there's dry air coming in and we're going to get in the dry slot, I think that window is going to be very small because let me loop this. Um, we'll let this load up here. And you can see how things are progressing here. You see the low back here? This is actually moving towards eastern Tennessee, while this dry air down here looks like it's trying to sneak up here into central Tennessee, but it's more moving to the east. So there's a chance that this band of light rain you see right along the Kentucky-Tennessee border may never move today. It may just kind of park there. And even if you get into this dry air here briefly, it looks like it fills in with some drizzle or light rain. And I'm going to show you what the model data is showing as far as that is concerned. We'll turn everything else off. And again, there, you can see right there, that's where the, the track is. That's exactly where the track is. Uh, this is the short range high resolution model we use called HRR. And it's essentially always updated every three hours based on the current conditions. So it kind of self corrects. You can see doing a really good job of the position of the rain right now. Well, let's go into the afternoon. This was at um, uh, right now. We'll go out to one o'clock when the race um, was supposed to start. Um, socked in rain okay let's go to two o'clock still rain let's go to three o'clock still rain let's go to four o'clock still rain let's go to five o'clock this is where you start to see okay the dry slot may be trying to move in but there's still light rain in the area no, also notice down here in the dry slot showers beginning to fill in that's as this low back here starts to slide to these so this is five o'clock this is six o'clock Ooh, six o'clock looks like there's a very small dry pocket Okay, so let's say it stops raining. They start drying the track. Again, the humidity level is super high. It's going to take a while. Thank goodness it's a half mile track. Um, we go towards 7 o'clock. We get to 8 o'clock. Maybe still, maybe still dry if we're lucky, but we're surrounded by moisture. Um, let's go to 9 o'clock. And then let's go to 10 o'clock. Uh, so we go to 9, 10 o'clock. The rain starts to fill in. So yes, there's a possibility of a window there, but you could see it. you're talking about basically a dome trying to set up over Bristol, Tennessee. It looks really difficult for me to imagine that it's going to be totally dry, too. I think it'll probably be drizzle. Let's look at another model. This is a, a little bit longer range model. Uh, again, this is, we'll go back to when the, when, the, when the race is supposed to start. Socked in rain at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. It shows a break trying to develop. 7, 8, but look at that. I mean, you're hoping that there's a hole right over Bristol and you're surrounded by rain. Um, here goes uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, uh, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4. I mean, so the rain fills in back tonight. Um, so if, if we don't get it in today, let's go ahead and look towards tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the rain tries to move out and things really dry out by late tomorrow afternoon. Uh, in Bristol, Tennessee. So uh, is there a window opportunity? Sure. It's, it's, it's a very small chance. Uh, I just think you're going to be socked. There's no way you're starting until later this evening, if, even at the earliest. And let's hope this little donut hole opens up over Bristol, Tennessee. But as of right now, I think it's, it's, it's going to be tough. I think they'll make every effort, but the race is not starting at one. I can guarantee that. If it does start, it's probably going to be this evening, and there's only going to be maybe a two- or three-hour window um, where we could possibly get this in. Again, here's the current radar. Um, we'll put this out to right now. Um, still a lot of rain going on in this so-called dry slot back here. It's pretty small. It fills in real quickly back to the west. Um, so it's something to keep an eye on, but we're not starting racing at 1 o'clock, that's for sure. The question is, do we get a window tonight? To, to get it in. I do think there's a two or three hour window there. Um, it's just going to be a matter of the drizzle, drizzle can stop, the humidity gets high enough or low enough, excuse me, that they can dry the track because you start getting towards sunset with cloud cover and high humidity, it takes a lot longer to dry a track, even with air tightens. 
So just to, just to give you what my latest thinking is, small window tonight, but I'm not overly optimistic. I give it about a 50-50 shot of getting done this evening. Um, no, obviously not starting at 1 o'clock, but I'll give it a 50-50 shot right now of possibly racing later this evening, and I'm talking probably after 6 o'clock. Hope that helps. Uh, we'll start talking about the winter weather tomorrow in the Carolinas a little bit later, but that's just the latest on the race forecast. Um, if you're heading over there, good luck. Be patient, and hopefully we get some racing in today.